in this very strange year 2020. The debacle of the them and us continues. I spent the last few years concerned that humanity will be crushed and broken by the rays of artificial intelligence and the follow-up to that would be a battle with the machines. As I worried that humans will lose their humanity and become robots as transhumanism takes over the organic human life form to make us be able to live forever. But no, I see the them and us situation is going to be, well, well, it's actually happening over the subject of freedom of speech at the moment. People have already been terrified by the whole pandemic. People are in fear of catching the flu and dying. And people want to be told it's safe and secure out there. And I can understand that. But they, the powers that be, cannot start telling us what we can and cannot think or say. Freedom of speech is a right and should be a right for one and all. So why do so many people want to stop freedom of speech? Why do so many people fear other people's thoughts, beliefs, their ways, their religions, their opinions that are different to their own? Why do people not like people to have opinions that are different to their own? It is becoming the case in this disastrous B-movie of a year called 2020 that people are turning on each other because they do not like the other's narrative. I'm asking you, what's wrong with having a different opinion? Do you only feel safe with people who have the same belief, the same faith, the same opinion, the same thought process as yourself? What's happened to discussing different points of views? And it is points of views because we don't know very much for facts. Very little is factually available to us. I know the scientists try to tell us that they have the answers, but a lot of it is just theory and not fact. So what's happened to discussing different points of views? It seems to just be, in most cases, Attack and ridicule somebody who does not follow the same thought structure as yourself. Why is that? Is it because the other person's point of view rocks the steady boat you are sailing? Does their opinion cause ripples in your perfect stream? Do you believe that your way is the only way, which sounds a bit despotic to me? As it says in many uh, definitions for the freedom of speech, Freedom of speech is the right to seek, receive and impart information and ideas of all kinds by any means. When social media platforms take down shows and programmes that don't agree with their policies or because they have been told by the people that are running their platform, usually the cabal, that the shows don't agree with their rights or adhere to their guidelines, then that is the other platform's freedom of speech to say this. They have the right to choose what they show and what they don't show. So other platforms for media and socialising are rising up, allowing freedom of speech, allowing you to say what you want, no holds barred kind of attitude. We must remember we cannot stop people saying what they want or feel because whatever they want to say or what they feel they have to say is important to them, as important as those that are saying to people you can't say this and you can't do that and you're doing conspiracy theories and you're doing you know, fear-mongering. Well, that's the right to say what you want, freedom of speech. Freedom of speech, though, must be used responsibly. I do agree with that. I am totally against hate speech and that should be regulated and censored, of course. But speech and debate that is on has an opinion on like topics, themes, any kind of investigation should be allowed to be expressed without restrictions. Unwarranted is the word used in some definitions of what freedom of speech means. Unwarranted restriction is the word used in some definitions of what freedom of speech means. Freedom of speech is under attack and if that's taken away from us, 
and what comes next. Where does that lead? Suppression is the first word that springs to mind. Everybody has the right or should have the right to freedom of expression. The divine gave us free will. The divine gave us free will to do and say what we want. The divine gave us free will, which means we can say and do what we like. What's important is, is if we use it consciously. Use your divine right to free will, to free speech, with a conscience. Think and feel what you are saying and doing, and use your conscience to guide you.